Hi judges! Welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School, Senior High School Math TV. Last time, we were able to solve situational problems involving conic sections. Today, we will have another example of problems involving conic sections. So, last time we were able to answer a problem involving a circle and a line and we're able to get its to get the equation of the line that is tangent to the circle. For today, we now have an equation involving an ellipse and hyperbola. So what if we're given this problem? The problem states that the vertices and foci of 5x squared minus 4y squared plus 50x plus 16y plus 29 is equal to 0. Therefore, we are given this equation. And based on this equation, since this is 5x squared and this is negative 4y squared, and they are both squared, but they are not multiplied with the same number, and they have an opposite sign, therefore, we could say that this is hyperbola. Okay? The vertices and foci of this equation are respectively the foci and vertices of an ellipse. Therefore, based from the equation of the hyperbola, we will write an equation of an ellipse with their given condition. So, find the standard equation of this ellipse. Let us first write the condition. Okay? The vertices and foci of the hyperbola, let's say, vertices of hyperbola is equal to what? The foci of the ellipse. And the foci of the hyperbola is just equal to the vertices of the ellipse so this is our condition okay so let us now write the equation of the hyperbola from the equation of the hyperbola we have 5x squared minus 4y squared plus 50x plus 16y plus 29 is equal to zero so the very first thing that we need to do is to Gather all the values or all the terms with x and then complete the square, okay? Therefore, this becomes 5x squared plus 50x minus 4y squared plus 16y and then gather all the constants to the right side is equal to negative 29. Factor out the coefficients of x squared and y squared will be having 5 times x squared plus 10x Okay, and then minus 4 times y squared minus 4y is equal to negative 29. Completing the square will be having x squared plus 10x plus 25 minus 4 times y squared minus 4y plus 4 is equal to negative 29 plus 25 times 5 my plus 4 times negative 4 plus 4 times negative 4. Let us now factor 5 times x plus 5 quantity squared minus 4 times y squared plus 4y plus 4 that becomes y minus 2 quantity squared. Okay? Is now equal to 25 times 5 is 125. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16 therefore if we will be adding these terms we'll be having negative 45 so 125 minus 45 therefore we'll be having a value of 80 so in order for this equation to be in standard form we need to get the right side equal to 1 therefore we divide by 80 we will divide all the terms by the value of the right side, and that is 80. Okay? 80 divided by 5, therefore, we'll be having 16. And then retain x plus 5 quantity squared. Minus 80 divided by 4, that becomes 20. Therefore, retain y minus 2 quantity squared is now equal to 1. So this is now the equation of the hyperbola. So this is now the equation of the hyperbola. And we'll now be able to get the, co if the coordinates of the center, the vertices, the foci. Okay? So, let us first get the value of a squared. 
a squared is equal to 16, therefore a is equal to plus minus 4. b squared is equal to 20, therefore b is equal to plus minus square root of 20 or that is 2 square root of 5. c squared, since this is hyperbola, therefore we could say that c is the largest among the three variables and c squared is equal to the sum of a a squared and b squared therefore that becomes a squared plus b squared will be having 16 plus 20 therefore c squared is equal to 36 and if c squared is equal to 36 therefore we could say that c is equal to plus minus 6 okay so these are the values of a b and c will now be locating the center and that the center is located at negative 5, positive 2. Okay, if that is the center, so let us locate the vertices. Okay, for the vertices, if this is hyperbola, let us first identify the transverse axis. And since this is the positive side, we could say that it comes with x. And in that case, therefore, this is transverse axis x or transverse axis horizontal. If this is transverse axis horizontal, therefore, we will change the x-coordinate of the center to get the values of the vertices and the foci. Okay? Therefore, this becomes h plus minus a k. In this case, vert vertices will be located at our h is negative 5 plus minus our a is 4, our k is 2. Therefore, v1 is located at negative 5 plus 4, that is negative 1, 2. And our V2 is located at negative 5 minus 4, negative 9, 2. Okay. For the foci, okay. For the foci, that is H plus minus C, okay. Therefore, F should be negative 5 plus minus 6, K. F1 now would be negative 5 plus 6, that is positive 1. Our K is 2, therefore that is 1, 2. Our F2 would be negative 5 minus 6, which is negative 11, 2. Okay, that is now our F1 and F2 for the hyperbola. So these are for hyperbola. How about for the ellipse? Again, I will write the condition. For the focus of the ellipse, it is now the vertices of the hyperbola. So in that case, what will be the vertices of the hyperbola? V. Okay, if we have V1 and V2, therefore that is now F1 for the ellipse, therefore that is negative 1, 2. And F2 should be negative 9, 2. But the center is still the same. Again, the center will not change. The center will be the same. And the center is located at negative 5, positive 2. And for the second condition, the vertices of the ellipse is just equal to the focus or the foci of the hyperbola. And what is the foci or what are the foci of the hyperbola? That is, therefore, that becomes V1. Our V1 is 1, 2. And our V2 is negative 11, 2. Okay, so these are now the vertices and the foci of the ellipse. The foci of the ellipse is located at negative 1, 2, and negative 9, 2. For the vertices of the ellipse, it is now equal at 1, 2, and negative 11, 2. Okay? So in this case, we could say that the ellipse is major, will contain major horizontal axis. And since this is major horizontal axis, therefore, A now is the largest among the three values okay where do we get a from the vertices okay from the center going to the vertices therefore we could finally say that they just interchange the value of a squared and c squared just interchange therefore for this a squared now or we say that is a of the ellipse a squared is equal to okay let's just get a okay for the a of the ellipse from the vertices going to the center this is negative five this is one therefore their distance is six just like the C of the hyperbola because we just interchange their values, okay? Therefore, if AE is equal to 6, therefore, AE squared is equal to 36. This is plus minus 6. How about for C? Since we are given foci, negative 5 to negative 1, their distance should be 4, right? Therefore, 
the C now of the ellipse is plus minus 4. And it is just the same as the A age or the A of the hyperbola. What is the A of the hyperbola? Plus minus 4. Therefore, the C, the C is squared now of the ellipse is equal to 16. And if we are getting the value of B squared, always remember that this is an equation of an ellipse. And for the ellipse, since this is the graph of an ellipse, these are the vertices, V, V1, and V2. Therefore, from the center, this is A, this is also A. A is the largest. We could say that A squared is equal to the sum of C squared and B squared. Therefore, B squared is equal to A squared minus C squared. And that becomes 36 minus 16. Therefore, B squared is equal to 20. We now have B squared. We now have A squared. Therefore, we could now write the equation of the ellipse. But let us remember that this is major horizontal axis. And what is the standard equation of an ellipse um, with major horizontal axis? We could say that, that that is x minus h quantity squared over a squared plus, because this is an ellipse, plus y minus k quantity squared over b squared is equal to 1. So we're now ready to substitute the value of the center or the location of the center and then we also have a squared which is 36 and then we also have b squared which is 20. Substituting these values in the equation of the ellipse therefore we'll be having x plus 5 quantity squared over what is our a squared that is 36 plus y minus k which becomes y minus 2 quantity squared over b squared which is 20 is now equal to 1. Therefore, this is now the equation of an ellipse given the equation of the hyperbola. Again, the problem is the vertices and foci of 5x squared minus 4y squared plus 50x plus 16y plus 29 is equal to 0, or respectively, the foci and the vertices of an ellipse. And we're asked to find the standard equation of the ellipse. Okay, so that is how we solve for different conditions of two conic sections. If you have questions, if you have comments and suggestions, please do message me on my Facebook account, on my Messenger, on my Twitter, and on my Instagram account. Once again, I am Engineer Jod Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.